This is Tracy Broussard with RoadDogOnline.com and Lester Estelle, drummer for Kelly Clarkson. Let's shift gears a little bit. You're All a sports right. guy. I'm a sports guy. Hey, yeah. And um, two of your favorite basketball teams are the Bulls and the Lakers. Yes. Okay? So, of late, the Bulls, there's been a little bit of shake-up. We're in Chicago Butler. today. Yeah, right? we're at Soldier Field. Yes. So, um, Butler's gone. Ugh. And then they let Rajon Rondo go. Man. So, what do you think is the next step for the Bulls? I mean, man, look. John Paxson <laughs> and Garn Foreman, they, they got to figure this out, man. <laughs> it's uh, the rebuilding. I, 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 from the beginning, I've been saying... Fred is not the coach for that team. That's just my opinion. Uh, when you have veterans that have been around for a while and you bring in a younger coach, it's kind of... There's a respect gets, factor yeah, that kind of lacks there. It, absolutely, and mm-hmm. that was the problem. I think that you know there was talks of people were saying Jimmy Butler is not the leader that we need, and there's lack of respect for the coach, which I totally get. Well, there was an issue with Rondo. Yeah, absolutely. Popping a towel on one of the assistants. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, like, when you got vets, man, like, that are not really buying into what you're doing, you're going to lose that locker room real quick. So, mm-hmm. so they're just going to start all over, I guess. I don't, I don't even know what to do So with do you feel the D-Wade thing, is he a non-factor at this point with him being older? Yeah, for sure. Like I feel like he should probably go back to my. I love D-Wade, by the way. Mm-hmm. I feel like he should go back to Miami. And, or hang it know, up. No, I don't think he should hang it up. We I all think know they're all going to New York. No, nah, they ain't LeBron going. <laughs> is getting all the game think, together, and they're I going think, to New York. I think they're going to the Lakers. But. Okay, so you're a Lakers fan. Absolutely. Now, your boy Alonzo. <laughs> <laughs> What's more important, him or his dad? Oh, my gosh. I think, <laughs> How is Magic going to deal with that? I think he'll be fine, man. How his, why? His dad, like his dad is is the brand. That's a whole different deal. I think everything will change once everybody watches him play. Like people, what people saw him play was just the, that run that March, uh, the March run where they got whooped by mm-hmm. Kentucky. Yeah, that's the only time they saw him play. He was balling all year, mm-hmm. and I didn't actually start paying attention to him until everybody was like, "Oh, he might be the number two pick." And I was like, "You know, oh man, that might be Lakers." So I started watching a little more and. He's got a mature game for, I mean, for his age, obviously he's like 19 yeah. or something like that. I think uh, with that squad and what, with, uh, what Luke Walton's trying to teach, I think, I think it could be something. Hopefully we can get a vet or two. To well, Paul George out. is going. Yeah, he I think just Paul, going to OKC think, just yeah, for a minute. I think Paul George will go. I think uh, they're going to try to get LeBron for sure. I don't know if they'll go. Oh, come LeBron. on, LeBron. I know. <laughs> really? I think they will, man. He's leaving Cleveland. He ain't going to stay. I thought he would try to leave this year, but. We were on tour, I don't know, what was it, four, three, four years ago? Yeah. And you yeah, and your boy years. Ryan Darty. Yeah. When you were playing with Neil. <laughs> yeah. For some type of Ouija board thing decided that y'all were going to be Oregon fans. <laughs> you remember that? Yes. Here's First, the deal. Are you still an Oregon fan? I am. <laughs> okay. I am. Here's the deal. Here's what happened. Here's my disclaimer. I didn't go to college. I'm from Kansas City, but like I don't like KU. My sister went to KU, graduated, all that stuff. I got a lot of friends that went there, but I'm not like a KU fan. I'm not a Chiefs fan. I'm not a Royals fan, none of that stuff. Um, so I didn't have a college team I rooted for. So we literally, on that tour, we drew names out of a hat because we knew everybody, <laughs> you know, you Louisiana guy, and then we had a few guys in our crew, Louisiana guys, and then Neil was an A&M guy. And like, so everybody like had their squad. I was like, man, we ain't got nobody to cheer for. So we literally put names in a hat and drew Oregon and like, then we're like, dude, all right, we're in. We would like, we met people from Oregon. We go to games. We're like friends with a lot of people from Oregon now. So it's really, it's really funny. But yes, all right, I still want to make sure Oregon. because I remember, and yeah. I it, it literally woke up one morning and you, you and Ryan are wearing Oregon gear. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> was there a yes. sale? <laughs> what was that? From? <laughs> yeah, man, that was yeah. hilarious. Uh, and then they had actually that year they happened to go pretty far, and ran into Ohio State. But, mm-hmm. RoadDogOnline.com. I'm Tracy. 
This is Les Dristel. See you next time.